Hey everyone, in this Witcher 3 rune right tutorial I'm going to talk to you about the rune right, how you find him and what he can do for you. So he's a character that appears in a quest in the Hearts of Stone expansion and the way you find him is if you go to your world map and we're in Velen and over here, where is it, seven cats in, the notice board is where you'll find the quest to begin um, sorting out the rune right. I'm not going to go through that quest um, I'm just going to show you what he can do for you once you sort that quest out. So he basically needs some tools to be able to create runes for you and he can do two very useful things for you one of which is to add sockets to your weapons or your armor so to do that if we talk to the rune right and uh, he'll have a good old yip to us there and uh, if we go like to enhance some gear for me And there's two things, so enchanting, or if I hit RB, I'll go to add sockets. And any weapon that you've got, or any armor, you can add sockets too. So for example, I've got Erendite here, um, which is a very powerful sword. And I can make it more powerful by adding more sockets to it, and then I can apply my usual rune stones to it, or I can do something cool with him with enchantment as well, which I'll just talk about. So. Um, let's add some sockets though, so you hit A, and over there on the right it says how much it is to add the sockets, so on this particular item the first socket is 1340, and then the second one as you can see on the right 2680, and the third one 4020. And then when you've got those sockets added, you can do another thing, so if you hit LB, anything with three sockets on it can also be enchanted. Now. One thing to bear in mind is your existing rune stones will be removed. Um, whereas if you've got no rune stones, that's fine. You can just put one of these enchantments on instead. So for example, this preservation, placation, or dumplings here. So preservation would mean armorer's table and grindstone bonuses would never expire. So it's like, yeah, it's neither here nor there. Now, one thing to say is these aren't the only um, things this particular character can do for you. Uh, because you can kind of level him up by giving him more money to get more tools. So I've done the first set of tools for him, which was 5,000 crowns. So I've now got 10,000, so I could say, hey, I've got the, t the funds for the advanced tools. If I do that, uh, what will happen now is, uh, let's just do that waffle. Come out of the way. I will have more options for his different enchantments, so he will give me a greater range. And you can do the same thing again if you give him 15,000 on top. Um, he will get even more advanced tools. So here he's all happy because he's got this more advanced um, set of tools now. So he can do more advanced enhancement uh, enchantments for me. Come on, Rune Right. Oh, we can have a little look at it. And he'll show me all the new tools. Lovely. I'm going to skip it though. I don't really care. Just show me the enchantments. Right, so <laughs> like to enhance some gear for me. And if we now have a look, I'll have some more uh, interesting options. So you can see rather than three, I've got six now. So we've got a few new ones. This one is very popular for Aaron Dite. Um, Severance increases the range of well, which is a combat uh, skill that you can learn by 1.1 yards and rend by 1.9 yards. So what I can do is enchant that word into the item and then the runes will be applied. Now one thing to bear in mind with Erendite is you don't get anything weird and wonderful applied to the weapon, no additional runes, because the runes on Erendite glow as the sword um, is put into action and it charges an unusual one. So, But if we um, added um, some enchantment to a different weapon such as this blade, I'll just pick anything just so you can see. Um, let's do that elation, that'll do. Um, so you can see that the sockets get replaced with this. I lose the sock the items, or rather they're removed from this sword, um, the um, stones that were put into the sockets. But I've got this weird sort of swirly look on it. And now if I have a look, if we just come out of here. Thanks. I want to show you two things. So first of all, if we look in the inventory, you can see that my sockets now have this rather 
strange swirly effect in each socket and it tells you what each of those things are so elation is on this one as we said fatal blows dealt with your sword give it 0.1 to 0.25 adrenaline points and this one increases the range of well like we saw so another nice um, point about doing that is you get some rather cool effects on certain swords so for example on erendite like i said because this glows as the um, weapon is used it charges up and the more times you hit things it, it doesn't really show anything until it's hit a few times um, a, a foe but this one look at this glows yellow um, after we've applied that so before this had a faint purple glow to it but since i've added the rune rites runes to it i get this rather cool look to the sword um, so that's pretty cool um, and yeah that's it so the rune right hopefully that was useful to you if it was give us a thumbs up please that's much appreciated any comments really welcome and if you like your witcher and you want some more interesting things have a look at the rest of my channel because i've got lots of tutorials on here which may be of use thanks very much for watching